Hey my lovely TDS, welcome back to the channel. It looks like Cardi B got into it with a former fan. Now this woman's name is Paradise Paris. She always gives her little critiques about celebrities and things and she said from her video that she made, which we will get into in this video that she always had something somewhat positive to say about Cardi B until she decided to critique Cardi B that's when Cardi B decided to clap back at her now these two were going back and forth yesterday it got really crazy it got nasty between the two Paradise Paris was trying to tell Cardi B your man is always cheating on you and you're continuously getting the surgery to keep him but he's continuously cheating then Cardi B starts to talk about her weight will go ahead and get into these tweets now mind you these two were deleting tweets in the midst of them arguing so I can't say that I have everything but this is a great portion of it now Paradise Paris she says and you look a mess still they look terrible you tried to make it seem like my opinion was invalid because of my looks it wasn't about hey and you sat here and tried to be funny and you mad because everybody keep on critiquing you being a failure with the number one album Cardi B she said this is why you HOES always gotta bring my marriage as a drag because how you sound a failure with a number one album the album that hasn't been passed in six years by no female so f you y'all can't talk about ish else okay now that's when Paradise Paris she makes this video and she says tag that beat and tell her I said I stand on it y'all may as well tag Cardi B because I'm gonna give it to her like she thinks she give it up and before y'all start no she came and found my tweet after all the tweets that I was tweeting to praise her and chose that one and she should have stood on it now don't delete nothing because I'm just not seeing it and I just woke up and it hit the blogs yeah you caught red hand all that back button you thought she was going behind your button and clearing him for you doing the same thing don't don't know where I can hide your hand miss. Mamas it ain't an extra scare me feel bad about my body you don't touch everything on you and you still got so many insecurities because you can't keep your husband at home okay then Cardi B she answers back and she said when I do surgery baby I don't do it for no dude I do it because I love the vixen look I got my ass and my soft ass blanks before I said. The fact that you bees always want to bring up a man for a drag because you can't drag anything else is not a gag because a enna or because. Enna's, excuse me, is lined up on the DM. You spoke on me and now you mad because your stomach is layered like a wedding cake. Child, come on now. Then Cardi B said, talking about hard ass blanks it never gave hard they always in somebody's mouth you shape like a gummy bear you flimstone vitamin shape blank you blank love surgery shaming b i'd rather die on the table than to look like you and that's something crazy to say i mean i would not say anything like that that you would rather die on the surgery table than to look like somebody else that's wild okay now cardi b she responds back and she said shape like what baby since high school my body was skinny bitty it was always t teeth was stacked like your three stomachs and your two let's just say cat areas okay then you want to talk about my tongue like you don't have a heavy tongue yourself okay the way that paradise paris was talking in that video you know what i'm saying she can't really be talking but she does have good pronunciation i mean nothing wrong with the way that she talks but i just thought it was ironic for her to talk about somebody else i don't think nobody really talks perfectly okay anyways paradise paris didn't answer that she said be trying to compare bodies but don't want to compare bodies of work you're blank by your peers which is why you spend so much time trying to get in front of narratives we can go all night i got time be my tongue way slicker than yours and it's like the fact that y'all even going all night is a little ridiculous anyways cardi b answers back and she said let me make it very clear for you baby girl when you still Getting offers like this in 2024 with one album after seven years I don't have to compare myself to my peers that's what an insecure be that don't know they spot in the game go get your feet done you know I don't like it when you're bummy okay and Cardi B actually shows that yes she does have offers so you can see in this offer she actually does still get pretty good offers 2.5 million 3 million dollar offers like she actually does get a lot of offers okay Paradise Paris she answers back and she
Said Cardi your issue is you always want to prove something and get left being the point nails cost a measly 100 this is why you're stupid we know that you're rich we know that you have a number one album and according to every chart and every media analyst you are still getting left in the slump effing dummy your main relevancy noun is your marriage and your potential album you're nothing above a measly bee from the Bronx who got lucky and got comfortable okay that was definitely very, very harsh. Then Paradise Paris answered and she said, Cardi lost when she started posting pictures and comparing bodies instead of addressing the issue. She can go to bed now because I can do this all night. Then Cardi B answers back and she said, I lost, lost what tomorrow I'm going to wake up in my mansion with breakfast cooked by my chef, a career, and beautiful kids. You're going to wake up to three pillows under your dress ready to clock in at Marshall's and this being the highlight of your life you lost be okay Cardi B also said I want to say to Barty gang and anybody who's just a fan of my music or even my craziness I have my good days and I have my bad days but you know what whether it's good or bad I couldn't be happier with the obvious anticipation for my album. Sometimes I get a little aggressive because y'all know I don't like to be told what to do but I promise you it's coming this year. Thank you for the love and anticipation and always holding me down. I love y'all. So that was Cardi B getting into it with a former fan of hers. Okay, the craziness the mess was just like I said it was very unnecessary I really didn't understand why these two were going back and forth about Cardi B's album I guess Cardi B just wanted to prove to this fan hey you know what I'm saying my album is going to be great don't get my body done for my man y'all always bringing up my man because y'all have nothing else to bring up okay and I guess Paradise Paris wanted to prove a point to her but Paradise Paris was getting ate up especially when she kept on saying I could do this all night like come on girl you're not supposed to be telling Cardi B or anybody else you can do this all night this is just letting it be known you don't have much to do but y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section let's go ahead and move on to Miss Jada Wadden now Jada Wada was getting some criticism after she decided to drop this campaign video for her new launch of her swimwear for her brand wait a minute merch okay so in this video you can see that you know she's coming on the beach she's laying down and then there's kids you can see her son loyal, Boyle. They decide to take her top. She takes off her top. They take her top. They throw it in the water. She gets up. She's looking for her top. And then she has to find it while she has no top on. All she has is the bottoms. And the bottoms are like thongs. I ain't gonna lie, okay so it seems like her whole body is out. And a lot of people were confused, they're like, why do you have your body out and your child is around and there's another child around like why is this the campaign video like this does not make any sense it just seems like you have no clothes on in front of kids so one person said not you naked with the kids Jada answers back and she says that's their mama fault laughing my off I was minding my business then they came to bother me okay and I think Jada is basically talking about the theme you know that they came up with but this person is saying like the reality of the situation is whether this is the theme that y'all came up with literally this is you being without any clothes in front of kids like can you explain that now another person said a lot of y'all so shady are you guys okay at home Jada answers back and she says everyone's perceptions are different this is life and I will never judge nobody's thoughts and try to dictate how they should feel about certain things because we have all lived different lives. I just want anyone commenting to know it's nothing weird or ill about this video we acted out to leave a message and promote my latest launch which inspires every woman to feel beautiful fearless and accepted within no matter what I went through so much to get this summer drop and I am free to launch and carry on this campaign however I like love y'all too okay now another person answers back and they said okay so I get the storyline but my opinion says that you should have put a different model in the story not yourself only because it comes off a little weird because you're without any clothes in front of your son in this video just my opinion and I guess this person meant to say I love you though now Jada waiter answers back to this person she said I am the brand and the kids were nowhere on set after we filmed their scene obviously 
Why use somebody else's kid when none of this is literal and my son lives to be in front of the camera? It was only right to incorporate him. Okay so that was Jada's answer back. She basically said hey the kids weren't on the scene after their scene okay but they still were running in front of her so you can kind of see the kids there while she has that little thong you know on and she doesn't have a top on and she's laying down there I don't understand where people are coming from but I do love Jada's answer to it like everybody is going to perceive things differently some people may see it as okay because originally weren't we all supposed to be you know what I'm saying without any clothes on like since Adam and Eve times it's not supposed to it's not really meant to be a kind of you know I wish I could say the word on YouTube but hey s thing it's not supposed to be that s elizade, okay but people are looking at it in that way. So you kind of have to take your mind out of that and just understand she's wearing, she's promoting swimsuits, you know and that's kind of on people if you're thinking a little dirty about this, okay. Because at the end of the day, kids get in the pool every day you know what I'm saying grown UPS and adults be at the pool as well they be wearing their little swimsuits and nobody be looking at them crazy with kids and adults being at the same pool with each other and that's kind of the same thing that was going on there so for people to be looking at it a little weird is a little weird you know what I'm saying that's just my perception but I want to know you guys' thoughts and opinions I can. See where people are like a uh, you know I can see if you were wearing a regular bathing suit but this is kind of like a thong type of bathing suit and then you took off your top so I can understand that as well but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section thank you so much for watching room for tea make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I upload and follow me on Instagram at room for tea with two A's at the end I'll see you guys in my next video have a blessed rest of your night.